This is the Apple II computer. It came out in the late 70s. Um, it was voted number one PC ever by PC World. Uh, it's got a 6502 8-bit CPU here. Um, there are a number of expansion slots with cards, which is quite common these days. But back in the 70s it was a revolutionary idea. Um, there are no application specific integrated circuits inside. It's all general purpose integrated circuits that you could buy off the shelf. TTL logic. The only custom code is in the ROMs here. Um, it has interface cards. Normally in slot 6 is the disk interface card which could be booted by typing PR hash 6. Um, this is an 80 column card. So extra graphics card. Um, this is the language card which mapped another 64k of memory with the built in 64k of memory and um, you could toggle between the 64k blocks of memory that the 64k was the maximum that the 6502 can address. There are other cards that could be put in there such as a CPM card which had a Z80 CPU and another 64k of RAM and um, if we pop the hood you can see that all of the components are um, off the shelf TTL analog chips, no ASICs even for the graphics there's a power supply um, there's also another board here there's a keyboard decoder board and this is the disk drive five and a quarter inch disks it was a really good computer um, the manual came with all the source code for the um, monitor ROM and it usually came with Applesoft Basic. You could also put in Integer Basic on one of the language cards.